guys, Georgia here, welcome back to my channel. So, I have two and a half weeks to go. It hit me the other day that I hadn't even packed a hospital bag yet, which is really, really bad. Some of the posts about organising, that was really disorganised of me. Well, this week I've been going through all of the things and getting the bags ready, so I thought I'd show you what we've got in our hospital bags. <laughs> So I'm packing two separate bags, one for the baby and one for me in hospital. The changing bag that we have is this Yummy Mummy one. Um, I got it from Kitty Care. <laughs> Looking back on the price, I can't believe how much I actually spent on it because for someone who loves a bargain, I spent $79.99 on this, which to me is a lot of money. I must have really wanted this bag. I've washed it. It is a little bit dirty still because obviously we did use it with Isabella. I've tried to wipe it down as best I could. I put it in the washing machine and I've also disinfected it as well as well as the inside. I had a book or a little card with all the names and numbers of the people that I wanted to con then to contact whilst I was in labour and whilst uh, after having her so I put that in the front and that way I don't have to think about who we need to contact. Ben can just grab it and go. Makes things really easy. This is how it looks on the inside. As you can see, everything's kind of got its own place. As I said, I have washed it in the washing machine and um, I took out anything that couldn't be washed in there and just wiped down with antibacterial and tried to disinfect it the best I could. You're gonna want nappies. <laughs> they recommend taking about 10. To be honest, you probably won't go through all of that depending on how long you're gonna stay in there. With Isabella, I had her at half four in the morning and we were out again by half 10 in the evening. So I came out the exact same day. Depending on what time you had the baby there, you might need to be in there longer. They're so tiny, I can't believe how tiny they are. Like a little bum is gonna fit in there. Some hospitals can be funny about wet wipes. Personally, I've never had a problem with them. But as I said, some hospitals don't allow you to use them. They only want you to use dry wipes and water. So check out what your hospital is okay with. I had these last time and that was absolutely fine, but you might wanna check out in advance what uh, your hospital regulations are. A breast feeding cover. This is something that I didn't have last time I was pregnant and I really wish I had because I kind of underestimated how hard it would be to get the latch and keep myself covered. I'd actually go inside my top. I've actually got a picture so please, this was my attempt at breastfeeding last time. Yeah, not the most dignified is it? <laughs> this time I've actually invested in a couple of breastfeeding covers. This was from Amazon. I think it was, I think it was like seven pounds. Uh, it's got a little pocket in the front basically you just put that round but yeah basically this just attaches with a little buckle and it keeps open so that you can see down and help have your hands free so you can help get the baby to latch on properly so i've packed two little small white uh vests but basically the newborn outfit size i've got her is this little little top that says i love daddy which i just think was so cute i think it was from tesco's and it came with these little as well so I don't know how because it's June and we live in the UK it could be raining it could be freezing cold it could be boiling hot we have no idea the weather changes so frequently that it's hard to plan for so I've took a little card again just in case Packed some little uh, little scratch mitts a couple of uh, pairs of socks which I've balled up as well and um, a couple of pairs like little hats as well this one is like a little all-in-one oh and the little legs would be out so they'll be all chunky and cute um, <laughs> but yeah, and it just came with this little jacket thing to go over the top, so again, just depending on what the weather is, I might not need to have a jacket on her, but it's there just in case. They're so tiny, they're like the size of my face! I've also packed um, just a couple of jibble bibs and bib zero to six months dummies. These actually look really big, they're probably going to be too big for a newborn, but I'm packing them just in case. Two blankets, one of them is just a muslin a large muslin square it's really thin it's just made of cotton um just in case for obviously on the car ride home this one is something that um ben's auntie's partner's mum knitted her it's just the softest literally i want to have it in my bed with me and it's so nice it's got a lovely like pink and purple and just like light i think it's white but um yeah so if it's a little bit cooler that day or if it is cold then this can go on her as well but i'm taking that with us of what I'm actually packing. It's literally just Ben's old sports bag. Don't worry, it has been cleaned. It doesn't smell like dirty socks. <laughs> Change of clothes for when I come out of hospital. You're probably not going to go back down to your pre-pregnancy size and you're going to be so uncomfortable. I can't even explain how uncomfortable you're going to be. Do yourself a favour. Take some 
loose fitting clothes. I've literally just packed um, a tracksuit. This is actually the tracksuit I wore to come out of hospital with Isabella. If I could, I would go with something darker than this. I don't know how to put it nicely, but Aunt Flo will be visiting and she's gonna make a scene. A loose fitting hoodie top as well. Again, if it's hot, I'm probably just gonna wear my pajama top out. <laughs> I'm not even gonna try and feel glamorous. So I'm like, first I'm mum to me like, oh, I'm gonna come out, I'm gonna have a full face of makeup on. I'm not even packing makeup. She's just packing the bare essentials to get me through. <laughs> Pick out the biggest Bridget Joan pants. You know what I mean by that. You will find, I've got these from Tesco's. They're four in there for four pound. Big old granny pants. Again, it's not glamorous giving birth really not <laughs> it's gonna be bad it's gonna be a crime scene down there and you're gonna need to change these quite frequently so I've packed six <laughs> it gross I might as well stick on top of it top it maternity towels these are ginormous <laughs> just, look how big they are pack a whole pack buy more than one because you will need them but I'm taking a whole pack with me and hopefully that'll be enough to get me by even if you're not planning to breastfeed I would take a uh, breast pad you probably don't need to take a whole box but if you're not planning to breastfeed, your milk will come in after giving birth and it'll take a couple of days for that to dry up. So pack a couple anyway, just so that you don't leak through your tops and stuff. Two tops uh, from Tesco's, they're loose fitting. As I said, I'm breastfeeding so they're easy to move. Little strappy bits at the top, they come in a grey. A nice minty colour as well. Um, I've gone for a larger size because again, even though you've given birth, you're still going to look pretty pregnant and you're not going to want anything tight clinging to you. I just thought that would be really comfortable. I'm sticking with loose pajama bottoms. I found the maternity ward last time. It was winter, so the heating was going to be on, but it was really, really hot. Um, and everyone that I've spoke to as well at my hospital have said that it's hot no matter what time of year it is in there because they have to keep the temperature up for the baby. It, it varies with every hospital, so you may need to take a robe um, or something a bit thicker to keep you warm. And it might be worth you doing like a ward tour or something before you go into labour to get um, a feel for how warm it's going to be and things like that so you can pack accordingly. The towel um, for afterwards when you have a shower or a bath. The hospital staff were really lovely last time. They did offer me a towel, um, but I packed one anyway. I'm doing the same this time, but when you, if you do pack a towel, uh, make sure it's dark coloured and it's one that's old. Obviously clean, but um, it's one that's old and you're not going to worry about getting messy because it will get ruined. Sports slash nursing bras, just obviously comfortableness afterwards. And if you're not planning to breastfeed, um, just wear something comfortable like a sports bra because you're going to be tender and swollen anyway. Um, so it'll just make it nicer for you. Okay, in terms of toiletries and things, I've got this little bag. I got it from B&M. It was £2.49. Um, it comes with a little, uh, it's like a little travel bottles and stuff in it, but I just took them out. Toothpaste, toothbrush, deodorant, uh, face cloth, and body. Yeah, I've also got some hairbands in here, some face wipes as well, because you're going to be sweaty, you're going to be hot, even if you don't have makeup on, because it'll feel nice and refreshed afterwards or during. That's what I found anyway last some crosswords and Sudoku. I might bung a magazine in there if I buy one beforehand. They provide water whilst you're there anyway, but sometimes it's nice to just have it fresh out of a bottle. Um, and a couple of snacks as well would be really handy, especially for your partner. Let's pack some change. You might need it for car parking, or also if your partner wants to run down to the gift shop. Also pay phones as well, in case your phones do die. You're gonna need change for the payphone. So yeah, there you have it. That's pretty much everything I've got in my bags. As I said, I know there's not that much to it. A lot of other people have packed loads more stuff in theirs, but I've gone through it once and I realized what I sort of don't need and what I do need. Please leave comments in below if you think I've missed anything out and desperately need to put that in there because now's the time to let me know. Um, do, if you enjoy this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you are new. I try and post about twice a week. I'll put the links to my social media and blog in below. Thank you very much for watching. I hope to see you soon. Bye, guys.